Hi guys and welcome back to the Craft Beer Channel. We're still at Lowlander, it, it's not sponsored content. We just love the place and we haven't moved. Now, we, we love this segment, but you guys seem to love it more. We're doing crisps again, crisps and beer matching. Nothing makes us happier, just never thought it would be legitimate you, content. We need snacks when you're drinking, right? You, you do need snacks yeah, when you're crisps drinking. crisps are pretty good, they soak it up, right? It's so good. So, uh, we got sent very kindly by Hobgoblin, a brewery we don't really drink from, no. but we thought we'd eat their crisps. So we have Hobgoblin's Hamageddon, which is, uh, what is it, Brad? It is pickled and ham flavour. Pickled, it's, it's, pick, roasted ham and pickle and beer flavour. It's only some bloody golden ham roast. It's golden roasted ham and pickle flavour potato chips. So we did some experimentation, we got many packs of these and we tried to work out what was best, and so basically we thought, Belgium, Belgian beers were working best. So we've come to Lowland who have a great list and we're throwing the f***ing nukes at it. We're going all out. So we're going to open with Tilkangers Squared. Oh no you didn't! Uh, Tilkangers is It's a great white buffalo. Is it a, isn't it a white whale? A, or a white whale, it's a Moby Dick of a beer. <laughs> You're a Moby, never mind. Never mind. Um, so Tilkan, the newest of the uh, the newest of the blenders uh, in Belgium. Um, oh, he's bloody one Belgium of the, I think blenders. they're the only Walloon uh, blender as well. So he doesn't brew his own beer, but he blends beers from five different uh, lambic brewers: uh, Lindemans, Cantia, Boone. Two more that are coming up on screen. All Ger big hitters. Yeah, Gers Squared is the beer that I think he he bottled it and there wasn't enough yeast, so it didn't carbonate. So he put it back in barrel to see what happened next. And now it's a much much stronger an imperial Gers, if you will. And I just got a waft of amazing appley cidery goodness. Wow. Uh, Seven point six percent. This one. So you got some oh, proper I Gers glasses. I love those glasses. They're uh, epic glasses. You, you, you hold them and you feel like a better person. Um, I don't know what it is about this kind of glass, but I love them. They're my favourite drinking glass. Ooh. When I smashed my Boon one, I cried. Like a singular sour tear. Ooh. Apple, champagne, like grapes. Great. Not just champagne, but grape. I'm almost scared a little bit of smokiness going on. Yeah, I mean, that's the oakiness from the wood. Yeah, the, the barrels, barrels they've done, yeah. it's not smoked malt, it's coming from the wood. Yeah. Uh, but let's um, let's crack some crisps and see if this is going to work. It's actually smoother than I thought it was going to be, so maybe it will. These crisps do smell amazing, but from our previous experience, they don't taste so great. Come on, Johnny. Give Sorry. a chance, man. Pickle from the from the potato chips. No, the ger the gers is too. But this is getting a little bit of pickle vibe going from this. The sort of slight. I think it's sourness. adding the missing pickle. Yeah. The mickle. The mickle. I actually think you need a sweeter gers to go with that. I mean, like yeah, sort of honey and ham sort of vibe. Yeah. You want some of that? Yeah, that hasn't sweet. quite worked. But that beer is it. Considering how funky it smells, that is a beautifully smooth beer. It's a good drinker. So heavy hitter number two. We've just done a video on whether St Bernardus and West Western Twelve are the same beer. So we've got a little bit of Westy left over, so we thought, f*** it, throw that in. Got it, right? Win in Rome. So yeah, we've actually had quite a lot of this beer, um, which means we're probably slurring more than we think we are. Um, but here is the remainder of this. I already think this might be too dominating. It, it's herbaceous it's and it's big and it's caramelly. Caramelly. But, but with ham, that could be amazing. Yeah, like, like slightly burnt fat on ham. Can, I mean, it's crackling. They both come together and do nothing. They kind of kill each other. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like two warheads that hit each other in space and have no impacts on the Earth whatsoever. It's the immovable force. No, wait. The unstoppable force and the immovable object. Object. My, my, 
my uh, cultural that's references. That's implying that that, that that is a titan of a flavour, <laughs> where I'm not quite sure it is. But it's, yeah, you're right, it's totally cancelling it out. It's no frazzles, but yeah, they cancel each other out. That's, that's disappointing. And so beer number three, we really hope this one works. This this, this is the style we thought would work best. Uh, but we now have uh, Rouge Zot Blonde. They've recently become famous because they built a pipeline from the brewery to the bottling plant on the other way, so the lorries weren't going down the the uh, cobbled streets of Bruce. I mean, I, I mean, the, the, the sort of the logistics of that. Are yeah. ridiculous. I heard, I heard that in the square, if you go to the brewery, there's a square outside all cobbled, and apparently, before they tore it up to put the beer pipeline in, they had to tear up the cobbles and number them and put them back in the same place because it's all listed. Wow. Now, if that's not craft cobbling, I don't know what is. That's crazy shit. Yeah. Uh, so, this beer, it is so full of flavour. It's only it's 6%, but it is, it drinks so light, but it's it's loaded with estery, spicy, yeah. bananary, cinnamony, slightly caramelly goodness. I really love this beer, I really rate it. I think we've got a winner. That's just great. It washes over your palate. It takes the crisps away for a little bit, and then it comes back and you get a salty, caramelly, crunchy sort of like oh. But it's not overpowering the sort of mildness of the uh, the hamminess, you know, and it's bringing out a little bit more of the smoke. I, smoke? I was about to say it. It almost turns them into barbecue crisps. Maybe that's the sweetness. Yeah. You already have the, you know, the meatiness, but the sweetness added to that gives you that sugary, you know, yeah, like you basted it over time. in the barbecue sauce. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is a stunning match. A really great match. It's pretty fucking epic. So, so if you can't get your hands on these, get some ro roast ham crisps, have it with a Belgian blonde, and in winter, have yourself a little beer barbecue. I think so. It is the season. Uh, cheers, guys. Cheers.